Nakamit ka sa Good evening, everyone. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor Jeff. Good evening, Pastor Jeff. Good evening, Pastor Jeff. Pastor Jasmine. Good evening, Pastor. Hindi. Ikaw. Hello? Good evening po. Good evening, Joshua. Tita Bing, good evening. Anastasia family, good evening. Good evening po. Good evening po, Pastor. Tita Susan, good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, <laughs> good evening uh, po, Anthony and Edric. Good evening, Dave. Good evening, Pastor. Hi, Tita Josie. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Jaya Derek. Po. Good evening po sa lahat. Hi, Justin. Hi, Giselle. Hi, CJ. Hi, James. Hi, Aileen and Daniel. Hi, Faith. Hi, Minerva Giwa. Hello po. Good evening po. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Muulan na ng pa... Paano ah? Salamat po sa... Pabati sir. ah. <laughs> si Edric. <laughs> si Jasmine, ano? Papatusok-tusok daw yan sa linggo. Wow. <laughs> Papa Boxing. Papa Boxing kayo lahat. Ano sa rin yun? E-Drick. E-Drick. E-A-D-R. I-C-K. I-D-R-I. C-K. Tawag yun na yung Papa. C-K ba? I-K. A lang, walang C. Oh, sorry. No C, no C. All right. Habang inihintay natin yung iba, let's start muna tayo sa ating... Uh, yun. No, not ear drink. Hi, Diva. Sorry. Ear drink. Walang R. Idrik. Ano ba naman? Teacher sa sinag. Di alam mo yung spelling ng estudyante nila. Yan, ganyan. Idrik. Good evening, Darren. Good evening, Rose. Good, good evening, po. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Okay, simulan na natin sa praise report at saka... Good evening, po. Prayer request. Good evening, Pastor. Praise report at saka prayer request. Sinong gusto mauna? Praise support po, praise support kay Jan or prayer request. Kami po, nagpapasalamat po kami kay Ged kasi makakapasok mo si Anaya bukas. Magaling na po siya. Wow. Thank you po sa prayer. The Lord. Good evening, Dennis. Hello po. 
I have a praise report po. Go ahead po. So earlier sa work po, meron, um, meron oh, homeless but... person na uh, pumasok. Oh, na he was very aggressive. No. Mm -hmm. um, no. And he was screaming and just being very, very, not violent, but almost getting there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I always pray to God to protect me at work. Um, especially sometimes I I work alone mm -hmm. and I usually work with girls. So earlier we were um, we were working and the guy came and he was threatening us and he, he was just screaming, um, saying bad words to us. And, you know, sometimes these people can, can switch and, you know, they want to... They could easily hurt you, you know. He was so, screaming. He, he was screaming, and <laughs> so I always pray to God to protect me at work, and He did today. And I was doing that. I I um did my prayer and and my um devotion in the morning, and before I went to work, I told Him to keep me from harm, you know, and that's why He did. So I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Thank Ako po, you. praise report ko. Uh, thank you po sa prayer. May, uh, okay na po ang pakiramdam ko. Amen. Nagkita niyo na si Tita Bing sa linya ng Bing. Right. Good evening, Tita Fe, si Sir Janet, uh, Kuya Manny. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Sister Tina. Good evening. Pastor Bong, good evening. Jairus, good evening. Good evening sa inyo lahat. Praise support kay Jan. Praise support. Um, prayer request. Praise report, prayer request, praise report, prayer request. Pastor, uh, prayer request po ulit dun sa bata po na kaibigan po namin, yung may cancer pa rin o. Uh, anong, um, anong name ulit? Si Noah po. Noah. Noah de Guzman. Noah de Guzman. Saan ang cancer niya? Anong cancer niya? Ha? Anong cancer niya? Bone cancer po. He's only uh, nine years old. Uh, bata naman niya. Oo, oh, kamawa nga. Nasa Amerika to? Apo, nasa Children's Hospital. Oo, oh, nasa Children's Hospital. Okay, prayer for the surgery of Pastor Bert Camaro. Uh, praise report lang po, konti lang. Go ahead. <laughs> the other day, I was at the store complaining about the prices of the eggs. Oh. Pag-uwi ko ka po, may natanggap po akong mail na may pinadala para sa school ni Sophia. Oh. Uh, it's an EBT for school. So, for food. So, nakakareklamo ko po sa pressure na itlog. Nagkaroon ako tulis yung supiyan ng food, uh, <laughs> food card. Thank you, Brother Dennis. Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Yun yung ano, ano, humor ni Lord. Ano? Alam, mareklamo kayo. Ha? Bless ko nga kayo. Diba? Bait talaga ng Diyos, no? Yeah. Kaya, ano, eh? Good evening, Tita. 
Uh, yung prong prayer request namin, yung uh, medical. Medical, medical nung anak ko sa Tuesday. Maging, yung mag-asawa, uh, maging uh, smooth po lahat ang uh, gagawin nila. Maging clear and everything. Uh, maging clear lahat po. Para... Ano po ang pangalan ng babae? Liana. 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 Yan. Medical. Kaya sa inyo. Kailan na po? Kailan po yun? Medical niya? Tuesday. Sa Tuesday po. On Yan. Kapit na. Pag medical na. <laughs> okay. I thank God for letting baby Naomi sleep early today so I can attend our Zoom meeting today. Yan. So yun yung kanyang praise report. Yan. Mahimbing na natutulog si baby Naomi. Amen. Eh si Daddy Max natutulog na. Sa <laughs> sauna pa to. Sa sauna. <laughs> health doctor magano sa health. No. So pray support, prayer request. Meron pa. O sa sobrang mahal nga ng itlog na banggit ni Brother Dennis no. Saka yung sibuya sa Pilipinas. Oo oh, nga po. Ala ko nga makapag-almosal ng ano sa Sabado ng itlog na may sibuyas, di ba? <laughs> Para feeling rich ako. Wala <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> itlog, madami itlog dito. Ako madami itlog si Joshua doon sa kanyang ano, mansion. Nakita ko naka-imbak doon. Wala akong malaking itlog dahil lang kay Joshua, madami itlog diyan. This Sunday Kukuha ulit ako. O, oh, bigay ka nga, Joshua. <laughs> Gagala ako sa church. Ayos. Para po sa aking nanay, for complete healing, kasi po lumaki yung isang side ng heart niya. Alright, sige. Pray natin. Ha? Uh, no. Well, Madrid. Operation ng papa ni... Sophia? It's not working. Operation ng Papa ni Noel. Tama ba ito? Uh, opo, Pastor. Sa ano yata? Sa Vietnam doon yun i-end yung operation. Biet, nasa Vietnam ba siya? Oo, papunta po. Oh. Doon ah. siya. Doon <laughs> <clears throat> Please report ko, Pastor. Um, birthday po kasi na mother ko ngayon. I thank God for another year na binigay po sa kanya. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mommy. Kasi sa Bacolod? Ay, sa Iloilo? Uh, Bacolod po. Bacolod. Alright. Please report. Please request. Prayer support, prayer request. Good evening, Pastor Rave. Analu, Noel Madrid, good evening. Good evening, good evening Pastor. Good evening, good evening. Pastor Jeff, good evening. Good evening, Tita Fe. <sighs> good evening, Pastor. Any more prayer request and uh, praise report? Race report, uh, na-survive ko yung traffic kanina. <laughs> oh, bukas ha, November, ano ha? Friday the 13th ha? Huwag kayong maniniwala sa malas, baka hindi kayo swertehin. <laughs> hindi, hindi tayo naniniwala sa malas ha? <laughs> hindi tayo naniniwala sa swerte. We believe only in blessings. Right? Hi, Daniel! Never I see you, I I am I am being reminded uh, of Daniel's past. But uh, Daniel Ruiz fast is taco and coke. Al pastor and coke. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, meron tayo dito. Uh, prayer request. I lift up my work tomorrow and the following days to come. I pray for strength and a good attitude towards work despite the heavy. Okay. Please report, prayer request. Uh, please report, Pastor. Sige, go ahead. Yeah, kahit ako yung nasa trabaho, nakakasingit po ako. Salamat po sa Lord, salamat po sa technology. <laughs> ano po, kuya? Yeah. Ulit po. Uh, yeah, kahit na ako yung nasa trabaho, ako yung nakakasingit pa rin sa prayer group po natin. Salamat Ay, po sa technology. <laughs> yeah, nasa work po kayo. <laughs> Oo po, for few days now. Oo, nung Ngayon araw yan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nung araw eh, talagang wala, hindi ka na makaka, ano, no, ngayon eh. Pwede, pwede na po. Oo, oh, pwede, pwede. Kahit nasa Pilipinas ka, pwede ka mag-church sa La Filnas eh, dahil may Facebook lang. <laughs> Kaya nga po eh. Yan, yeah. yung, ano ngayon, technology talaga. Thankful time for technology. Good evening, Sister LV. Good evening, Pastor Rave. May sasabihin ka, Pastor Rave. All right, meron pa ba? Good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Pray support, meron pa? Uh, prayer request, meron pa? So anyway, uh, for your prayer request, now if you are being prompted by the Holy Spirit to uh, to to pray and for anything or for uh, anybody. Just pray uh, mamaya sa ating uh, popcorn prayer where you can pray whatever you want to pray for. All right, so we will go now with our uh, devotion. Okay, so last Monday, our topic was forgiveness, Tuesday, anxiety, last night, uh, lion's den. Tonight, our topic would be... Uh, ano yun? Uh, ano ba yun? <laughs> watch, your, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Oh, no, sa Tagalog, no, ugasan daw ang bibig. Ah, watch your mouth pala yan. <laughs> so, watch your mouth. Diba? Madalas natin narinig yan eh. Sa nanay natin. Oy, ting, ano yun? Tingnan-tingnan mo yung bibig mo. Parang gano'n, di ba? Lagi naririnig natin. Alright. So, let's start with our devotion. Good evening. Welcome to your 2023 prayer and fasting Zoom gathering. Uh, we're done with prayer support and prayer requests. If ever there's any prayer pray support or prayer requests pa mamaya, just uh, uh, unmute yourself, Okay. So for now, mag-mute muna tayo lahat and let's start. No? Uh, let's start with our devotion. Nakiki-add na lang po sa mga ating co-host. Uh, sa ating pagbubulay-bulay salita ng Diyos. Um, reflecting on the Word of God. So we'll talk about tonight about watch your mouth. No? Watch your mouth. What do you mean by this? Watch your mouth is a phrase my siblings and I heard frequently from our parents during our developmental years. No? So, madalas nating marinig sa magulang natin, Oy, tingnan-tingnan mo yung bibig mo. No? Uh, Sweto mo. Or kaya, isarado mo yung bibig mo. Diba? Watch your mouth. No? Watch your mouth was used as a reminder for my siblings and I to stay within the communication boundaries of discipline. Respect, honesty, and positivity no, established by our parents, no, sabi ng writer. I can only recall the phrase being used when we went contrary to our parents' directives or if our words went against God's commands. Similar to a parent reminding a child to evaluate their words, God informs his children the power of their words and the importance of choosing words wisely. With our tongues, we either speak life or death, victory or defeat, 
insecurity or confidence, weakness or strength, trust or doubt. But whatever you say, be prepared to eat the fruit of your words. There have probably been times in your life when you've said things that were hurtful towards yourself and others. When that happens, it is vital to seek and receive God's forgiveness. Repent and thoughtfully give attention to your words. From that point on, you know, it's all, it all starts with watching our mouth because the words we speak have long-lasting impact directly connected to our present and future circumstances. You'd be surprised how your words are affecting your situation. Yeah. So scripture reveals several accounts regarding individuals either watching their mouths or carelessly using words. In, in both cases, we are shown the effect of the tongue's power. Words can teach, encourage, and uplift. They also can discourage, reject, and demean. Words can express gratitude, love, and joy. They also can express selfishness, hate, and despondency. Our aim is to speak what God says about our situations and not what our inconsistent emotions want, want us to declare. No matter what is going on in your life today, it's time to watch your mouth. Don't get distracted by the trial or the mirage that nothing will change. Begin declaring God's word. This is a work in progress that requires discipline, trust, and faith. But once you begin to get in the rhythm of using your words wisely in thanksgiving and praise to God, when the wrong words try to come out, you will be able to take action and bounce back to God's word. Speak life and watch your mouth. Sabi sa Proverbs 18.21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will, eats, will eat its fruit. Matthew 12.36, I tell you that on the day of judgment, people will have to account for every careless word they speak. Wow. Watch your mouth. Mukhang magandang usapin to. Mm -hmm. Ang tanong. No? Uh, may pagkakataon ba sa buhay mo na nasabihan ka ng Panginoon na watch your mouth? Di ba? Pag uh, tingnan-tingnan mo ang mga sinasabi, no? whatever uh, you are releasing and uh, whatever you are uttering you know, from your lips, it's either can make or break a person. Anybody who wants to share? Any volunteer? Volunteer? Who wants to start? Watch your mouth. Baka walang mag-volunteer kasi they're watching their mouth. <laughs> Anybody? Sinong gusto magsimula? Pinag-raise pa ng kamay. Hindi ko makita. <laughs> Mayroon pala pagka sobrang dami nasa, nasa screen mo. <laughs> Parang uh, nagbabadya yung Anastasio, gusto nilang mauna. Basta yung mga ganyang forma, nakangiti silang dalawa. Alamang sila mauna niyan eh. Ay, Pastor. Oh, sige. Ano lang, Pastor, pagka, ano, eh, uh, pagka kunwari, um, sa mag-asawa, nag-argue kami, parang, parang, ano, parang, ginagay kami ni Lord na, op, ano, Wag magsalita ng masasakit na sobrang sakit na salita kasi it can ano nga can um, really hurt a person. Baga minsan mas masakit pa yung lumalabas sa bibig kaysa yung physical na pananakit eh. Pero ayun po in, 
sa amin, ano, talagang careful kami sa words. Basta pagka may argument, kung ano lang yung topic, yun lang, dun lang mag-stick. Tapos break muna ng sandali and then mag-ayos before, ano, before bedtime, kailangan magka-ayos kami. So, lagi pong ganun. Tsaka, di ba, Pastor Misa, kapag yung may, ano ba, may nasabi kang, hindi naman worse. Mag-sorry pero may nasabi ka, parang kin- inaano ka ni God na mag-sorry ka. Yung kasalanan. Yeah, apologize. Kaya nag-sorry po. Yeah. Kaya ako nag-sorry po ako kahit kasalanan. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit, eh. No? Uh, prompting you. Na, hey, do not say that. Or, uh, Actually, this kind of uh, problem is um, doubly hard for those people who became a born-again Christian na who came from a family. Because there are families na very used to uh, uh, uttering hurtful words. No? Just like with uh, from the family that I came from. No, whenever, whenever they see you, uh, for example, Christmas, birthday, reunion, or whatever, uh, it's kind of normal for my relatives to tell you something na hurtful. That's the way of their greeting. <laughs> That's the way of their welcoming you. Di ba? Uh, for example, hey, how are you? Long time no see. Oh, you gained weight? You almost double your weight today. Di ba? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. It's been a year that I never seen you. So, uh, you don't have a boyfriend yet? You're 40 years old na? Diba? Something like that. Diba? Or, or uh, uh, I, I noticed for uh, in our Kapampangan Bulacan side, they always, uh, before they say a sentence, there's a curse word in the middle of the sentence. There's a curse word. <laughs> And after at the end of the sentence, there's a curse word, you no. Know? So, and somehow uh, when we have visitors who are not really uh, used to that kind of, you know, so they get offended, you no. Know? But for us, it's nothing because it became like a part of it. It was normalized, you no. Know? But biblically, it is not good, you no. Know? So that's why. When you enter into a relationship, you get married, you form your own family, then there will be adjustments, really. Because uh, usually, you, you, uh, the two of you came from different culture, different family culture, different tradition, different perspective. So you get to uh, clash you know, sometimes. You know. How about the others? Actually, magandang ano example yung sinabi kanina ni ano ni Brother Dennis, di ba? Uh, that is ano eh, what's your word din yun, yung pag-angal, di ba? Iba naman to, di ba? Lord, ganito. Or mara hindi naman siya umangal kay Lord, no? Parang umaangal lang sa mata sa prices ng egg. No? But look how God uh, parang uh, dealt with him, no? Instead of ano, he, he blessed him so that he will realize that, oh, why should I, instead of umangal, why should I be thankful na lang? Di ba? Mm-hmm. Para, you know. So, what else? What, what, what's, what, what other watch your mouth uh, situation na, na, na experience nyo? Sabi sa Matthew 12, 36, I tell you that on the day of judgment, people will have to account for every careless word they speak. So we will be accountable for every careless word that we speak. And uh, as I, uh, as far as I, uh, I recall, I have a lot of careless words that I spoke. No. Yeah. Eh, pastor, yung si Aldrin, pastor dati, pa naglalaro ng basketball yan. Hmm. Siya sabihin niya ng weak yung, kala, yung kakampi niya. Yeah, that's a... Pag nagkamali. Much ako na yung more. nahihiya nila. Naaawa ko sa yung sabihin niya. Sobrang competitive. <laughs> Buti nga yung mabait-bait na siya, Pastor. Yeah, mabait na ako ngayon. <laughs> Actually, na. Pastor, may share lang ako last Sunday hmm. while we were playing basketball. So, na-miss ko po yung shot and then hmm. I said something really, really bad. Tapos napating sa akin si Cyrus. Nag-sorry na lang ako sa kanya. Sabi ka, I'm really, really sorry, brother. Tapos hanggang pag-uwi yung 
Tapos nung gabi, pinagdasal ko na sana hindi na maulit. Hmm. Yung nakasanayan lang ho ba? Yeah, nakasanayan. Eh, larong kanto po ako eh. So, pag may mali ako nagagawa, nasasabi ko lang, nakalimutan ko na mga ka-church ko na pala ang kalaro ko ngayon. Yeah. yeah. Kaya, pating ingat din lang po ako. And that Kasi, is one ano, good thing about, ano eh, um, uh, well, we are being perfected in Christ Jesus. No? We don't expect perfect people in the church, but we're expecting that we are being transformed no? every day, daily. So that is part of the transformation. Eh? So one, it was, once it was uh, uh, dealt with you by the Lord, no? it is better na not to do it again. Kasi, siyempre, para hindi pa ulit-ulit, di ba? Parang ganun. So, ang, uh, ang maganda kasi sa Panginoon, napaka-patient niya. He's so patient, no? He's so persevering. Although sometimes uh, we're not faithful, eh, He's always faithful to us, no? So those are ano uh, discipleship moment with God, right? So yeah, we're learning every day. Yeah, that's a good one. Another watch your mouth situation. According from Proverbs eighteen twenty one, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So speak life. And watch your mouth. No. So, anybody else wants to share? Sige, abang nagiintay kayo, abang nagisip kayo. Sabi dito, they can discourage, reject. And demean. Words can express gratitude, love, and joy. Uh, they can also express selfishness, hate, and despondency. So, ibig sabihin, uh, it's either you make or break. You know, you use your mouth. You no, know, it's either hurtful, or you use your mouth for encouragement. Right. Pastor. <laughs> How we speak to people, to our workmates, to our spouse, children, to our churchmate, to our, you know, everything. Also, uh, uh, you know, uh, jokes that are not, uh, what they call this, are not pleasing to God are part of the watch your mouth. You know? uh, I came from a training industry. And part of the icebreakers of the of the uh, mga facilitators and uh, training consultants are green jokes. So these these green jokes are all ano uh, uh, naka ano na yan, uh, what they call this nasa dulo ng dila ko yun. Naka, basa na, para nakapackage na siya. <laughs> so, kailangan mong kabisaduhin no, para pag binitawan mo doon sa training is that you get the attention agad of the people. Because sa, in Pinoy culture, green jokes always breaks the ice. Wala ka nang ibang hahanapin. No? Magka na magpakahirap, green jokes na lang. So, it's very hard for Christians. right? So, you have to think of other jokes. That is more acceptable. No? In fact, I like Jokoy. No? Except for the green jokes and the foul mouth. Pero yung concept niya about bringing up the, the Pinoy culture, I love it. No? And the way he, he talks about what happens uh, uh, when you are being, uh, when your parent is a Pinay, I love it. But except for the. Ano, the green jokes the 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 the, the foul languages no? uh, uh, i think you can no there's a there is this you can watch it in youtube his name is nazareth no nazareth the comedian no? all his jokes are clean so you'll enjoy him oh that's I'm joke sure. <laughs> that's I'm joke sure. go ahead tita <laughs> ako mismo mayroon akong ex, uh, personal experience about green jokes mm -hmm. alam nyo yung mga faculty members 
Apo. Mahilig sila during their vacant period pag ano magdeal sa mga green jokes. Mm-hmm. Hala, magtawanan lahat. And then give one gives one green joke, magtawanan. The other one also gives the second green joke and so on. Nagtatawanan sila. Tapos nagkataon, halimbawa, nandyan ako sa ano nila sa lounging room naririnig ko yung kanilang mga green jokes sometimes mapapatawa din ako kasi nakakatawa din naman pero alam ko na ayaw ng Diyos yun kahit na yung tumawa lang ako pastor no ganyan mayroon talagang uh, gaga mayroong mayroong uh, consequence yan sa akin mm-hmm. God will express God will express his uh, yung parang contempt mm. on me participating kahit na pala nandyan ako sa presence nila halimbawa siyempre hindi ko maiwasan nandyan ako sa room na yan during mm. the vacant period halimbawa eh, maiwasan ko ba din yung kainga ko na hindi marinig yung mga sinasabi nila pastor okay. so ito yung several years ago so kung halimbawa mayroon din akong marinig na ganyan nakakatawa. Siyempre, hindi ko rin mapigilan tumawa, Pastor. Pero, Pastor, talagang na-experience ko yan. Inaano ako ng Diyos. Sa Holy Spirit talaga, nag ang Holy Spirit. He made me and God made me understand na even listening to that is really sinful to God. So, iniiwasan ko yan, Pastor, kasi na-experience ko talaga. Either, either, He will make you uh, know na hindi maganda yun, hindi siya happy noon. Or uh, he will let something happen that makes you realize na he was grieved. Apo. Totoo yan, Pastor. Ewan ko po kung may... Ha? Go ahead, Tita. Go ahead. Sa, uh, another thing also, Pastor. Mm-hmm. When I was a teen... From the time I was a teenager... Ako. Hanggang na, dumating na ako sa sa high school, hanggang nag-graduate ako, meron akong na-observe ng mga, mga mag-asawa na hindi naman lahat pastor, pero may na-observe lang ako na kung mag-aaway sila, pati mga pinggan, ihahagis yung mga kaldero, yung mga ganyan, tapos salitang hindi maganda, tapos hindi mo makita sila pastor na mag-progress talaga. Mm-hmm. So, in the word of God, it also says na yung mag-asawa na hindi sila united, hindi sila in good understanding, ganyan. Um, hindi natatanggap ng Diyos ang prayers. Mm-hmm. So, alam ko, this is a ve- very good topic, Pastor. And Apo. we learn from the experience of one another. Apo, Thank tita, you, nabanggit niyo po yung sa green jokes. Na, yung, yung, eh, mukha ko na-experience yun, no? In, sa ating lahat. Na-experience yun na hindi ka naman nag-agree. Min- hmm. Minsan, minsan, ngumingiti ka na lang kasi ayaw mo ma-offend yung nag-joke. Yes. Experience yun ba yun? Yeah, na-experience Hindi <laughs> ka naman yun. nag-agree dun sa joke kasi nga hmm. masyadong foul. Pero, stating in sa iyo yung nag-joke, ngingiti ka na lang para hindi ma-offend yung yun. joke. Di ba? Totoo. Pero you are not in a agreement, parang gano'n. No? Kasi ayaw mo siyempre yung mapaya naman yung nag-joke, parang gano'n. No? Kasi uh, sometimes naman, eh, wala pa sila sa, kailangan mo rin intindihin, wala pa rin naman sila sa gano'n pang uh, maturity. No? So sinasabi natin, green jokes, sinasabi natin, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, couples who are, you know, Uh, doing verbal abuses no actually yun watch, watch your mouth it's part of the verbal abuse no na when you say things na you don't sometimes you say na oh i'm sorry honey i don't mean it diba and uh, actually it is right there inside your heart it's brewing no it it, it just it, 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 it just waited for the perfect timing to come out No, probably you don't mean it in a sense that na bigla ka. It's, it's a sudden outburst, but it's right there in your heart. It's been brewing. It's, uh, mm. it's it's right there. So, and it's very important, no, that uh, uh, 
uh, that every thoughts will be surrendered you know, to God. You know? Our hearts must be surrendered to God. Uh, because uh, when bitterness and anger and uh, frustrations and everything eh, naghalo halo you know, it can all come out you know, through our mouth. Uh, how about the others? What's your, what's your word? Uh, uh, nito, uh, experiences. Hindi lang what's your word, Tita Fe, no? What's your pinggan? What's your plates? Kasi lumilip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pastor. <laughs> How about the others? What's your words? How about uh, yung example na naku, maring ano, maring Aileen, ang laki-laki na ng anak mo. Bata pa lang, pag ipunan mo na ng pampiyansa yan. <laughs> yung, mga, yung mga joke na ganun, di ba? Those are Pinoy jokes, right? I've heard that joke po from my mom. <laughs> okay. Oy, o kaya, ay, babae ang anak mo. Pang ano yan, ang tawag doon? Pambayad utang mo. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Di ba? Those are, those are jokes. Those are Pinoy jokes. But, that, but those are watch your words. Because, yes. because whatever comes out from your mouth, na sabi nga, with our tongues, we either speak life or mm-hmm. death. Mm-hmm. Victory or defeat. Insecurity or confidence, weakness or strength, trust mm-hmm. or doubt. Whatever you say, be prepared to eat the fruit of your words. Right? Sometimes we, we find it, ano eh, uh, sometimes we find it po na parang harmless, but it's, it is actually harmful uh, for, for Pinoy culture, uh, for, for Daniel and Eder. Uh, we have this Pinoy culture that whenever we see a kid, we will tell the parent that, oh, is that your son? Oh, you better uh, earn a lot of money so that someday you will have money to get him out of the jail. You know, those, those, are, those are meant for, uh, you know, for kidding or a joke, but those are, those are powerful words, mm-hmm. right? Those are self-fulfilling prophecy in psychology. Prophecy, right. Well, I would say that, that in our culture, it's pretty similar. So pretty similar? Uh-huh. Pretty similar, yeah. Like in a sense where like, you know, for example, me, you know, like I was uh, very like overweight mm. a few years ago. And I, I had like a lot of uh, family members who would always, you know, kind of go out of their way to point out how big I was, you know. And although you learn to laugh, like with them you know in the back of your head or when they're gone of course it's uh, pretty hurtful and it uh, makes you like kind of think about it and it doesn't feel good you know and it and it comes down to you know to all kinds of things like not just your weight your your appearance but what you do in life you know for a long time uh people thought that i was going to be like nothing that i was going to end up in the streets i was going to end up in gang culture and you know, as I got older, my, my life changed and, you know, I, I, uh, I uh, got a career for myself, you know, and, you know, now that I look back at it, if I would have listened to those people, then I would have never been where I'm at now, you know, so it's pretty similar, I would say. That's the key word. If you listen to those people, then they will be able to direct you to the direction you don't want to go, right? It's better to listen to the word of God, it's better to, to listen to the to listen to the Holy Spirit, you no, know, so that the Holy Spirit can direct your life you know, to the future that He intended you to be, right? Because words are powerful. Yeah, I remember when I was growing up, I really remember uh, words being uttered to me. Uh, you know, you'll you'll never go. Uh, you, you'll you'll go nowhere. You know, you're. Yeah, why don't you just finish high school and apply for and this and that? Don't go to college because you're not that good. You know, those are words. You know? Even when I became a, a, a professional or even I became a clergy, you know, I still continue to receive words that are not encouraging. You know? uh, and people will tell you now, you will not make it. You know? and, uh, you will, you, you, you're, you're not qualified or you, you're not you won't be able to do it 
So those are words that are powerful. No. So let's be very, very careful no? as we utter words. No? As much as possible, more of words that can build up a person. No? You must have a self-censorship. But I don't know if you will agree with me, as you grow old, right? probably it comes with the age, you 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 lessen your your ano your your mga watch your words na lumalabas right as you grow old napansin niyo ba yan yung sa mga medyo nagkakaedad na medyo nababawasan yung dati kasi minsan lalabas na lang bigla sa bibig natin all of a sudden no we will just utter words that is uh, that is so hurtful but eventually no as you grow old medyo kind of minimize no but uh, as you grow old, plus, sana, if you are in tune with the Holy Spirit, and then you'll be more, ano, you'll be a better person. No? Kasi you are being guided. How about the others? No? Example. Any uh, other uh, experience? How about uh, yung uh, sa school? There is there is always this one classmate of yours that you always laugh about, right? And we say things that uh, are not nice to that person. Have you experienced that? No, the entire the entire classroom gang up on this one kid, and then we all laughed about. We, we all laughed at that person. No, so have you experienced that? No. Or even in the workplace, there's always a worker. No, you call you call that person the missing link. Ah, no, no, the weakest link. No, uh, he always makes mistakes, or you know, he or she will always uh will be the laughing stock in the workplace, and then we all laugh at that person, and then we say things that uh, oh that person uh probably when uh, he he was born. He was born uh, only with six months, you know, something like that, no. Sa Tagalog, hirap ng eh. Kulang sa buwan siguro yan, ng pinanganak, di ba? Parang ganun. <laughs> so, di ba, madaming, madami tayong minsan sinasabi na nakakasakit, di natin alam. Yeah. Ako pa. Go ahead po. Pastor Ako pastor sa work, two days ago po, like my co-worker said something na parang disrespectful about a patient mm. and then nag-smile po ako like parang nag-giggle ganun mm. po biglang talaga po sabi ng Lord don't do that so, inano talaga sa stop don't do that so, oh my god so, oh, mali yung ginawa ko so um yun po ang ano ko po um um parang uh, challenging sa work kasi po talagang sometimes patients are very challenging talaga mm. po and, parang sakit na po sa ulo I could say mm-hmm. kahit you're doing your best you're being patient you're being loving pero sometimes iba po talaga ang patients di ba po so um, tinuturuan po ako ng Lord and alam ko dun ako um, tiniteach ng Lord na how to speak how yung attitude mo Kaya yun pang po sabi ko pong prayer request na always watch your mouth ganun po yung attitude mo and always choose na na to be loving and caring at all times kasi hindi pwedeng ano na may something wrong na um na motive ka or not motive like um something wrong po yung nasa isip mo about that person or that patient po mm-hmm. amen how about racist remarks uh, kami po ang nare-racist <laughs> Sila po ang racist sa amin. Naku, ang sakit pastor. Ang yeah, sakit. We, uh, being, being, being people of color, we are, you know, we, we, all, we, we, we all receive racist remarks. But, but if we will look closely and listen carefully, when, you know, people of color talk to one another, you know, Mexicans to Mexicans, Filipinos to Filipinos, we are also racist to other uh, ethnicities, mm-hmm. right? Apa, totoo, right. Yan. Oh, for example, for Filipino culture, di ba? What do we call uh, a person who is uh, has a dark skin? 
Oh, we call him Negro, Negra, right? That is normal in the Philippines, but here you cannot use that words, right? So somehow, uh, unknowingly, we are racist. Or when we talked about uh, the way they they work, or you know, the way they uh, uh, the way they treat us. You no, know? for example, they are the one who was who was being racist on us, but in a way, we retaliate by also being racist to them. Have you experienced that? Right? How about uh, what's your word in a sense of songs? Lyrics. Right? Uh, and then, what do you call this? What What are the songs? Bring that over here, over here, baby. Bring that over here, over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about the uh, oh Nicki Minaj? Ano ba naman ito, di ba? Nagmuka akong tanga, di ba? Those are what's your words, right? My 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 song pa pre, uh, pastor. Apo. Yung sa Ilocano song, Apo. yung parang pangalan Ilocat mo man. Very immoral oh. song yan, Pastor. Manang Biday, ilukat mo man. Yes, that's an immoral song. Why is it immoral, Tita? I don't because know. Because it, it, it's a figure of speech. Okay. Or something bad, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it is being sung in the, ano, in the school, elementary school, yes, being yes, danced by the children. The teachers do not know the real meaning of that. It's a figure of speech. Oh. Manang Biday, ilukat mo man. Yung bintana, yung ano na yon yung organ na yon Oh, okay, okay. It's a oh, double meaning. Yeah, figure of speech yan. Pangit yan na awi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, they I they know don't that. know. The teachers do not know the real meaning of that. That's why eh, tinuturo sa mga bata. Pero ganun, ang kahulugan nun, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Sinabi ko rin kay Pastor Norbert yan eh. Mm -hmm. wow. At saka pastor, maalaala ko May mga parents na pangit magsalita sa mga anak nila Nagkasala mm -hmm. lang ng konti Ang bigat-bigat na ng mga salita Stupid ka mm -hmm. uh, Ulang hiya ka Yung mga ganun ba pastor? Mm -hmm. oh, Alam niyo tita, ganyan din ako Kasi akala ko normal lang yun Kasi mm -hmm. ganun din yung pagpapalaki sa akin mm -hmm. So ang tendency is that I I did I, I just do what I experienced. Parang ganun. It was a transference, no. But eventually you realize na it 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 you know, it is wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. Yeah. But one good thing is we all committed mistakes, no. What is important is that we are humble enough to accept that we committed that mistake. No, and move on and never and never do it again. So that's repentance. Mm. Because whatever we're talking about tonight, we all experience it. We all we we are all guilty about it, right? Probably how many times we were our attention were called by God to watch our word. Right? Not even not even I know I don't know if you experience this, experience this. You, not even uh, you utter the words. You just thought of the word. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord said, don't think about that. <laughs> Have you experienced that? Spontaneous. Spontaneous, yes. uh, right? Right? Then, nainis ka doon sa, ano, nainis ka, tapos sinabi mo sa isipan mo, not through words, but just through your mind. Mamatay ka na sana. <laughs> 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 and then the, the Lord will tell you, oh, watch your word. That's powerful, right? That's powerful. Oh, how many of us are, are are guilty of that? We always curse in our mind. We always wish death to other people using our mind. Right? Or somebody cut you off, you're driving, and then in your mind, you didn't utter it because you, 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 you have this conviction, I don't want to say things that is bad. Because I want to watch my word. But you are uttering it through your mind. No, you're telling that person, oh, I hope that 
you you'll meet an accident along the way <laughs> no so that is also watching your word right the lord is telling you don't do that what else anything else madami pa lang watch your word po, pastor Go ahead po. um i think the phrase watch your mouth also applies to gossiping you know talking about other people behind their backs because first of all the, that person is you know uh not there to defend themselves mm-hmm. whether it's true or not ano po yung sinasabi natin about that person and i'm i'm guilty of it too kasi sometimes it just i know parang naging normal na po to talk about other people mm-hmm. but yeah it's like j- god just tells me sometimes to you know i catch myself na you know talking about other people so mm-hmm. sabi ni god na stop yourself mm-hmm. yeah. yeah you're uh, also you're making assumptions about other people so yeah yeah i'm just i know i'm just I'm just being keen to what the Holy Spirit is telling us right now. No? Uh, the Holy Spirit is telling me that why don't I say to everybody or suggest or you know recommend to everyone that we create a culture in La Filnas that whenever we start something that we are you know starting to talk about other people, you know, why don't we uh, say right away? Let's watch our mouths, right? So it's it will be a reminder for us to stop and then smile about it, because nobody's perfect, right? Even I will will be part of that. <laughs> sometimes, I mean, sometimes you you I mean, you forget it, you forget it, eh? unless the Holy Spirit will remind you, and then, oh oh, that was wrong. Oh, I uh, what I did was wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Watch your mouth. Watch your words. Sabrito, God informs his children the power of their words and the importance of choosing words wisely. How about encouraging words? Words that you don't have to watch coming out from your mouth no encouraging words what are examples of encouraging words and experience no a good christian at least at least in a day you were able to utter encouraging word to one person through uttering it using your lips or maybe texting it or calling or messaging meron ba kayong ganun na at least one one person a day no a person to be encouraged anybody any experience anyone na you were able to encourage even your children right Encouraging your children. Or how about your spouse? No. Yeah. Go for Zumba daily, honey. No, you're losing weight. No. Those are encouraging words. No. Not uh watch your mouth like, oh, you're you're doing Zumba anyway. You will eat later a lot. <laughs> You'll gain weight anyway. <laughs> Those are discouraging words. <laughs> so, nagsumba ka pa. <laughs> nagsumba ka pa. Sinayang mo lang yung pawis mo. <laughs> yung mga ganong banat, ano? Yun, yun pa pala, word na sarcasm. Yeah, that's true. Sarcasm is another part ng, ano, no? another form of watch your mouth. Sarcasm. No? Sample, sample kayo dyan. Sarcasm. Ano mga sarcasm? Oh, wag niyo nang biruin yung wig ni Kuya Edward, ha? <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> Guilty po ako doon, Pastor. Guilty rin ako doon, eh. 
lakas ko mga sir, na-realize ko, nakaka-open na ata ako. <laughs> Di ba, yung mga ganun, yung simple lang, pero di, di, malay mo, na, nangiti yung tao, malay mo pala, na-open na pala, di ba? Di mo sabi. Di ba? You should, uh, lapat encouraging words. Yeah. Encouraging words ang lalabas lang sa bibig natin. Yeah. How do you say encouraging words to your spouse? Masarap po yung luto. Yan, masarap yung luto. Kaso sabi mo, ang sarap ng sinigang mo, tinola pala yung niluto. <laughs> Imbis na encouraging, naging watch your mouth. Kasabi ko na sa mo, watch your mouth ha, tinola yan, hindi sinigang yan. <laughs> <laughs> so, <I'm continuing> <laughs> oh, what are the encouraging words that you, you can tell your spouse or children or or churchmate or workmate? Naps. <laughs> 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 what are your encouraging words? <laughs> ako pastor uh, Jeff, pag um nasa work ko ako, tas na iwan si baby na yung kay Maxim. Like I always thank Maxim na how or And then te- I, I tell him po na how he's doing a good job on how he takes good care of us. Kasi diba po minsan yung husband, yung pagkakala, ano sa baby, mm-hmm. yung naiiwanan sa baby. Pero po si Maxim talaga pong, kasi nung una po, nung pregnant pa po ako, si Maxim hindi hindi ma, hindi maasahan talaga kahit yung family niya po. Yeah. Alam na hindi marunong magluto, hindi marunong mag-alaga, hindi marunong mag-diaper, mag-change ng diaper. Pero po, talagang nag-exceed siya sa talagang yung love, yung care niya sa kay baby na yun. Talaga pong nakita namin lahat. Tapos, proud na proud po sa kanya yung yung parents niya po. Sa kanya. Lalo na po ako kasi naiiwanan ko po talaga na hindi ka nababother po or nag-worry. Talagang from bathing to everything. So, thank God po for that. So, Nabi ko po siyang um, kinit na um, sinasabi yung good job or thank you sa mga ginagawa niya po. Yeah. Ako si Rosanna. Yung, um, when I encourage my students in in school because uh, usually we have an advisory class. So uh, usually we have our students for four years hawak namin yan since ninth grade up to 12 grade. So what I usually do, I always encourage them to have a goal for them to graduate high school, to get the important classes they need to take so that they'll be able to uh, achieve their goals. Uh, lagi kong binabanggit na every time kasing meron kaming contest sa klase, I always set a goal na dapat manalo kami. <laughs> Competitive, pero at the same time, I always encourage them to, to set a higher expectation uh, for themselves. Like especially the ninth graders, the the students that I teach usually belong to the students who belong to the poverty level. Yung tinatawag na Title I group. But um, I use that point na to encourage them because most of them are first, uh, tawag ito yung first generation college students. I always tell them that you can graduate high school, you can graduate college, you can be part of this uh you can go to UCLA and I believe there's always power in words and I I've seen a lot of students who rose from talagang uh talagang to low self-esteem mm-hmm. tapos pag nakita mo gagraduate na sila mm-hmm. sa high school tapos nakakapunta sila they go to a very prestigious uh prestigious, uh, what do you call this, uh, university. I have a student with autism. Uh, when he was ninth grade, like he hardly looks at the uh, at, at other person. But right now, he is actually uh, going to CSUN. Na, na, natanggap, na, 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 matatanggap siya sa CSUN. So, and uh, tapos nag 4.0 plus pa yung kanyang GPA. So, yun yung fulfillment mo na being a teacher when you see these kids um, empowered at the same time they're growing talaga and I believe na ako I I also handle special ed kids uh, I always tell them na 
don't ano, don't believe other people what they tell you. And true enough, when they come back, tapos ba, uh, they will tell say, uh, after, yeah, after, after graduating uh, college, they go back to you and they say thank you because they were encouraged and they were able to uh, achieve you know, the, the career that they wanted in life. And uh, it is all because of the glory of God. Lahat ng bagay na to, it is because of the glory of God. And the uh, the strength and the energy that you have every day uh, to encourage them. Amen. So, I praise the Lord for that. Amen. Anybody else? What's your love? No. I encourage my pastor, uh, same po with our kids, um, when they have um, a reward school, we make sure na to treat them out, diba? Mm -hmm. like celebrate. And then, not just our kids, pati po yung sa discipleship with Justin. Every time we uh, we practice, pag may maganda po yung, ano, yung aming um, praise and worship, there's something na napon akong magandang nagawa niya ay make sure na to tell him that oh you did a good job with this you're you're getting better playing the guitar and singing at the same time you're really improving i make sure na na to take, make notice and remind na to give all the glory to God okay. yeah in ministry yeah it's very important because we are ano eh, we are powered by volunteers uh not paid people and uh it's very easy to mobilize uh, workforce in a corporate setup because if they don't follow, it just threaten them that they will not have a salary or they will be uh, laid off. No, but in ministry, you cannot do that. Right? So you, you, everything is uh, uh, based on trust and everything is based on uh, motivation no? and encouragement. No, so you encourage them that they're doing it for God, not uh, for anybody else. No, that they are serving the Lord. No, and uh, and uh, give them feedback that they are improving and everything. So, uh, in ministry, uh, watch your word is very important. No, it's either um, you see you don't follow a leader who who's a nagger or who's a you know who's uh, breathing on your neck or who's a uh, was a person uh, over controlling and telling you what to do and not to do every minute of it and uh, you know shouting at you every time na nagkakamali ka you know so we don't follow that kind of leader no we follow a leader who will encourage us no? who will who will bring out the best uh, of uh, uh, best in us no so so to all ministry heads and ministry leaders and those who are you know, leading different departments and ministries. No? Uh, thank you for being a good example and uh, and uh, encouraging you know, your teammates. You no, know? because we don't call them subordinates; we call them teammates you know? because uh, nobody's being paid. So we don't call them subordinates; we call them teammates. We are all part of one team, so that's how we encourage. That's why I I can see. Uh, a lot of uh, ministry heads who are every each and every after Sunday uh, to each different uh, group chats, they give their, uh, no, they express their gratitude. Oh, thank you for doing this. Oh, job well done. Or sa unlad, wala tayong potok ngayon or something like that. Oh, walang sabit yung gitara or whatever. Or, you know, you did well sa worship or... You know, uh, even I, I, I get a lot of uh, encouragement. No, oh, you did well, Pastor. Dinungdito, ganyan ganyan. So, uh, those are very important. No, uh, words of encouragement. Yeah. 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 Specifically with Sister Pedumok, she always encourages us. Yeah, that's her ministry. <laughs> and I really like that. If I if I reach that age, I I pray that I will be like her. Mm. That you know, like I would be sensitive to the sensitive to the needs of the people, and I would mm. uh, encourage people mm. with words. Yeah. If Tita Pe will uh, grab your arm and uh, will tell you, oh, I na talaga gustuhan ko yung pinrich mo ang pogi pogi talaga ng pastor ko ayun nakaka-encourage yun 
Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ginaganan daw naman lahat niya. Hindi, ginaganan naman lahat. We love you, Tita Pe. <laughs> so... And one last thing, siguro, uh, one thing I learned about, uh, it's it's related to parenting too. Kasi when I was, maga kasi ako nag-asaho, kami nag-asaho, uh, 21 back, 23. 22. So, uh, there's a lot of struggles sa uh, parenting, pero like, on the, sa una kong anak, ang goal is to train Cled to be excellent sa ak- academic, ganyan, si Job, ganun din. But you know, when I heard the preaching about uh, how to train your, your kids and how to, to mold them in the likeness of God, what I learned is from Peter Ch- Tanchi, sabi niya, na instead na pinupuri mo lang yung, bata, yung anak mo because of their academic achievement, you praise them because of the good works that they're doing. Uh-huh. So for my third child, Tibriel, I did not push her so much to do academic excellence. Kahit na nakakuha siya dati nung grade 1 siya, na hindi talaga naman siya nagtatap 1, nagtatap 2, it's okay. But I always praise her for doing good works, to be being kind to her classmates, to be being so helpful sa mga teachers niya. And sabi nga, tama si Pastor Peter Tanchi, eventually, yung anak mo magtatap 1 yan. Because natutunan niya, they, she learned the ways of how uh, the, they have the uh, academic integrity. And yun nga, si Brielle this year, uh, sabi, niya, sabi niya sa akin dati, nung grade 5 siya, naku ma'am, lagi naman ako meron isang B, sabi niya ganun, sabi niya. But I tell her, sabi ko, hindi, you can achieve it. So this year, all straight Asia. So I praise the Lord kasi it's not, what's important is not the not the grades, but the attitude of the heart. So, mm-hmm. praise the Lord for Pastor Peter Tanchi kasi pinage na yung ano na yun. So, I mean, sa parenting, there are different ways how to handle, handle our kids, but I praise the Lord I, at I was able to uh, correct yung mistakes ko for my parenting sa last child ko. Mm-hmm. Sana so, all sabi ni Bernie Kled. So, yung first child mo is a mistake. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> naman. Hindi, hindi. Training, watch trial your, and error for watch, the first child. Watch your, watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your mouth and watch your marbles. <laughs> okay, sige. Uh, meron pa ba or manalangin na tayo? Sige, magsimula na tayo manalangin. Alright. Uh, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Let's start to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God. Lord, we lift up to you uh, everything, Lord God, that uh, we talked about. Lord, we pray as a church, as you're prompting us, Lord, you're prompting us to create a culture that uh, to remind each and everyone to watch our mouth. Lord, we pray na, na whatever is pleasing only to your ear, to your eyes, no? that is what we're going to do as a Christian, as a believer. We lift you up, Lord God. We praise you. We adore you, Lord God. We thank you on our fourth day of prayer and fasting. We just want to give you all the glory, Lord God. We come this far because of you, uh, because of your teachings, and because of your encouragement to us. Even even you, Lord God, you are a God of encouragement. We never heard of any bad words or any curse or anything or any. Anything that uh, will hurt us, Lord God, but all encouragement, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, uh, uh, for all the things that we receive, continue to receive, and we are about to receive. Lord, we uh, confess our sins as you uh, as you d- dealt us tonight to watch our words, wa- watch our mouths. Lord God, we pray that uh, may our tongue be tamed, Lord God, and uh, Whatever we say, we will be. Uh, we will think of it a hundred times before we utter it, Lord God, and consult you, Lord. And uh, may it be an encouragement only to the listeners, Lord God. Lord, we pray to you the following supplication, Lord God. Uh, we lift up to you uh, the mom of our sister Olen, Panginoon, si Mami Tesugay, uh, uh, she parent po some broken ribs um, because uh, from an accident, Lord God. We pray for healing, Lord God, complete healing, Lord God, 
in Jesus mighty name Lord we lift uh, Lord God uh, we we are lifting up to you yung work ni Christina tomorrow Panginoon uh, at saka mga susunod pang mga araw that you give her strength Lord God at uh, magandang attitude sa kanyang trabaho may she be a good uh, testimony Lord God a salt and light sa patients Lord God at sa mga doctors and nurses and everybody else in the hospital in Jesus name Lord we lift up to you ang tatay ni Brother Noel Madrid Panginoon na mag-undergo ng operation, Lord God. We pray na, na maging successful ito, na makabalik siya sa dati niyang ginagawa, uh, that he will be healed completely and you will use this situation for you to reveal yourself, Lord God. Lord God, uh, we pray, Lord God, also sa mami ni Tita Bing, si Tita Leonila Villaflor, Lord God. Uh, we pray for complete healing, Lord God. Uh, we, uh, yung isang side ng heart niya, Lord God, medyo enlarged, Panginoon. Uh, we pray na isa medication na tinetake niya, Panginoon, ay mahil ito, Panginoon. As you touch her tonight, Lord God, your hand is not short. You're touching her tonight, Lord God. We speak of healing as a church, as a family. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we lift up to you, Jorel and Liana, na magbe-medical na on Tuesday, na everything will be smooth, Lord God, a provision para sa payment nila. Uh, wala silang makita na anything na kailangan pa nilang bumalik. ma-forward agad nila sa U.S. Embassy at makarating sila dito ng matiwasay, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. We lift up to you, Angeli, Lord God, uh, for continuous protection sa workplace niya. Uh, malayo siya sa mga any hostile person or while she's driving, Lord God, you protect her. You give her steady hands, Lord, and a, 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 a watchful eyes, Lord God, and I pray na Uh, you protect everyone in our family also, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we lift up to you, Pastor Bert. May surgery siya bukas. Yes, uh, maging uh, successful. Bigyan mo ng wisdom ang lahat ng doktor. Uh, ikaw po ang mag-ingat sa kanya. At uh, uh, matapos agad yung surgery. At uh, maging okay po siya agad, Panginoon. At uh, maging uh, uh, gumaling po agad yes, yung um, surgery, Panginoon. Bukas, Panginoon. Lord, we pray... for uh, Noah, Gus Noah de Guzman, Panginoon, uh, meron po siyang bone cancer, nine years old lamang siya, Lord. Bata pa po siya, we, we pray na tanggalin niyo po yung pain. We pray, Lord God, na i-heal niyo agad yung cancer, Lord God. I-restore niyo lang lahat, Panginoon, sa bago yung kanyang uh, uh, buto, Panginoon. And we pray, Lord God, that he will enjoy yung kanyang childhood, Panginoon. At uh, he will grow up as a fine a uh, young Christian man, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for Romulo Dizon. We pray, Lord, uh, for complete healing and uh, comfort and peace sa kanyang family. We lift up to you uh, si Tito Ismael Panginoon, uh, Ismael Mayo, <laughs> na magkakaroon din ng surgery sa January 18. Lord God, we pray na uh, you... you, you that uh, you will be his healer, Lord God, sa mga pagkakatang ito. We pray, Lord God, sa aking licensing sa Sabado, uh, I pray na, na, na makapasa po ako sa panel interview at uh, ma-renew ang aking license, Panginoon, at ako'y ma-endorse for final ordination, Panginoon. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for Vivian Villaflor, Lord God, a uh, heart problem and a uh, provision, Panginoon, sa kanilang pangailangan. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, it is a uh, popcorn prayer time uh, for your other supplications. Anyone can start praying. Um, Lord, I just want to lift up to you. Um, ang mga mag-asawa po, um, mga husbands and wives, I pray, Lord God, na um, may times na may mga disagreements po kami, but I pray na kayo po ang mag-bind together sa mga husband and wives, and I pray, Lord God, na this, despite of the miscommunication and mga disagreements po, I pray na Um, na we, we would choose love and then to watch our words. Oh God, I pray, oh God, na itouch mo po ang aming mga minds, ang aming hearts, na to, to do good to our spouses, to speak love, and 
to um to forgive all, um all the time oh god and i just pray oh god na naging good examples po kami sa aming mga children sa 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 family po so lord i just pray na kayo po lang ang manguna sa mga families po namin um you know and especially po sa mga husbands because they are the one that leads the family so lord i pray for wisdom and just to and love po sa sa bawat isa in jesus name we pray amen Lord, we pray for protection sa lalo na mga sa mga incident panginoon sa simbahan namin na nananakawa na is na chan panginoon or naagawan panginoon we pray for protection for everyone wherever they go lord god send your angels like to protect them lord and we pray that uh, you put a stop on this kind of incident lord god uh, laden sa community namin panginoon we just pray for uh, your the covering of your blood uh, for our protection safety and security in jesus name amen I pray, oh God, that you would grant the desire of our heart, Lord God, as she celebrates her birthday, Lord God, today, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you could provide her needs, Lord God, bless her, Lord God, spiritually, emotionally, Lord God, mentally, Lord God. And I pray oh, that continue to bless their family, Lord God, today, Lord, in Jesus' name. That prayer is for Sister Jasmine's sister. Lord, I thank you, God, for today, Lord God. I thank you for all the strength, Lord God, that you have given me, Lord God, for the past months, Lord. Uh, that I've been, Lord God, monitoring, Lord God, the uh, chemical safety, Lord God, sorry, the high school, Lord God. Lord, I claim, Lord God, for victory, Lord God, this coming um, uh, January 17, Lord God, may your hand be upon the school, Lord God, and upon me, Lord God, as they as I lead them, Lord God, in the inspection, Lord. And I thank you, Lord God, for truly, Lord God, you have created a wonderful team, Lord God, in our school. And I thank you, Lord God, for a new principal, Lord God. I pray that you would bless her, Lord God, and uh, supply her all the needs, Lord God, for this coming school year, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for every word that we have uttered that is not pleasing unto you. Lord, you keep watch over the doors of our lips, O oh God, that we will declare only, Lord, what is pleasing before you, what is truthful, what is right, what is encouraging, what is uh, really uh, encouraging to one another. Father, we just commit to you our lips, that our lips, O oh God, be a vessel of honor unto you, that uh, these lips of ours would always, Lord, give praise, encouragement, to our brothers and sisters, oh God. Father, empower us in every word that we say, Lord God, that we will bring life, we will speak life, Lord God, to our children, to our husbands, to our families, to our friends, to everyone, oh Lord God. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the blessings and answered prayers that we received and um, will be receiving. Uh, Lord, I lift up to you all the students and teachers and all the school staff, um, especially our CNED kids, school teachers, and school nurses and staff. May you always protect them and keep them away from um, potential threats and evil deeds. You are their light, um, salvation and fortress protecting them from danger. We rebuke um, every spirit of fear, intimidation, and especially murder, theft, violence, and bullying, and perversion in these learning spaces, Lord. We declare a safe school environment for um, everyone, Lord. Let everyone child fulfill their um, God-given purpose, and that safety and protection will be um, the heartbeat of every um, educational premise, release them to you and you watch over them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Lord, um, thank you very much po sa gabing ito, Lord, at magkakasama po kami na yun na sama-sama po nananalangin po sa, sa inyo. Lord, gusto lang po namin patuloy na pagdasal po lahat po ng mga employees po na naapektuhan ng mass layoffs po dito, not just here sa America, but also sa buong mundo po, Lord. We, and we pray that um, mabigyan po sila ng magandang opportunity po, Lord, and um, makapag-provide din po sila sa kanila mga pamilya po, Lord. Alam po namin na hindi niyo po uh, mabayaan yung mga taong ito at mabibigyan niyo po sila ng uh, magandang job opportunity po. This is in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I, I thank you, Lord God, for the quick uh, progress, Lord God, for weekly, Lord, uh, sa kanyang brain surgery, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for he has started, Lord God, to put himself, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, na patuloy po, Lord, na, na pagalingin siya, Lord God, that he will be able to move, Lord God, every parts of his body, Lord God. And uh, it will be a uh, recovery, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we surrender to you everything, Lord. We uh, we are accepting, Lord God, your rebuke for us, Lord. Uh, we pray that uh, you help us as we uh, as we as you tell us to watch our mouth, Lord God, uh, as Christians, Lord God. May may we do better, Lord God, that is more pleasing, Lord God, to you. Lord, uh, allow me to uh, give the benediction, your benediction for your people tonight, Lord God. The, blood, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. So tomorrow will be our last night. So be excited. At uh, malapit na naman tayong magkita-kita, buksan nyo na rin yung mga bintana. Dalawang shots ulit dahil uh, dalawang train tayo. So, sa Sunday, masaya na naman. <laughs> okay, first, uh, first frame. Alright. One, two, three, and smile. Right. Second frame. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, and smile. All right. Good night, guys. Good night, Mark. Good night, Paul. 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 Good night, Bye.